Thanks to the coach. Chris, uh, TJ went down, I believe, midway through that first half. Is there kind of an early evaluation of how that is? Um, no. I'm on my way to the training room after this. So, uh, tough break, man. TJ practiced really well this week. I thought he was dialed in. Um, he was he was ready to play tonight. It started in practice, and today's shoot around. He had a kind of a different look in his eye. Um, so it's a tough break for us. But um, you know, Ray Bond is really really good at what he does. Our trainer and uh, TJ will put in that time in the training room. Hopefully, be back sooner than later. What have you seen in the three games here at home that maybe you're not seeing or isn't translating in those three away games so far in conference play? Yeah, it's a good question. Just better basketball. You know, I, th I think we've. Um, yeah, better basketball. We played better defense. Offensive execution has been better. Um, you know, we have a game plan each game. Um, most of it is what we want to do. Um, a portion of it is who are we playing. And I thought, you know, the home games, I think we've executed the game plan uh, better than the road games. Talk about the energy that you guys have at home uh, with, with the fans and whatnot. Is, is there a way to create that in, in, in road environments? Ask me that one more time. <laughs> you talked about the energy uh, of the fans and the student section, all that stuff. Is there a way as a team to create that sort of energy for you guys on the road? Well, one thing I think is, um, you know, when we get this thing rolling, um, and I'm not talking about year two, I'm talking about when we get this thing rolling, you know, um, having Ole Miss people travel to road games. Uh, we see that certainly in football and baseball. So that'd be a next step uh, with our fan base, encouraging them to, get that schedule early and kind of pencil in some dates. Uh, but we'd love to have more support on the road in the SEC. So that's one thing we could do. Um, you know, other than that, it's just about the players creating their own energy. And um, I explained to the guys, you know, a lot of our guys haven't played in the NCAA tournament. Um, but we talk about it a lot. You know, if, if that's the goal and vision, then let's talk about it. And, um, you know, as you guys know, a lot of times in the NCAA tournament, you have a great season. You're one of those 68 teams that gets to keep playing in the NCAA tournament game. Sometimes isn't uh, what you're used to playing. It's more of a neutral game. You know, you've got some fans. The opponent's got some fans. But then, especially in the first and second round, it's kind of filled with fans from the other six teams in that region. And um, you know, a lot of people just buy the ticket and kind of cheer for the underdog. So my point is, I've been telling the guys all the way since this summer, there's going to be some games where you have to manufacture your own energy. And uh, certainly on the road, that's that's a part of playing on the road is, is making sure you can control what you can control. What was what was different about the way your team defended tonight as opposed to, to last week in that road stretch? Well, to me, it started with a willingness and um, you know a desire to defend. And Juju said it best. Uh, we walked in the facility, um, I think yesterday or two days ago for practice, and um, the players, several of the players, were kind of meeting themselves, uh, talking about defense. So as a coach. You know, that's not only good to see, that's the only way to win. There, there's no other way. And so for the guys to take some accountability in this deal um, was a great sign. Um, and our co coaching staff too, you know, we take accountability as well. So I would say tonight's game started with a focus. It was a one word game plan, defend. Um, and not so much about the opponent, but about us. You know, let's get back to guarding the ball with some more pride. Um, when we do get beat, let's have some some rim protection, and that's a rotate, you know. And, and so defense is all about rotating. It's all about helping. And um, I thought tonight we did that um, late in the game. We got away from it a little bit. Um, but I thought for the first 30 minutes of the game, you know, our guys were, were trying to defend um, at a high, high effort level. Do you think that this team has the, the pieces and the capability to defend like some of your teams in the past have who have really elite yeah, absolutely. I, I think that this team has the talent, the character to win every game on the schedule. I don't think there's anybody in college basketball that we can't play with and beat in a 40-minute game. And our margin for error might be smaller than others, but when the ball goes up, um, yes. You know, I believe in these players. Uh, we're a work in progress. It's not a coaching speech cliche. It, it's true. Um, we're playing against a lot of teams that have been together for a long time. Um, you know, some of these teams have had guys playing their fifth year together. We're sitting here month nine or ten. Um, but, yeah, I uh, have a lot of confidence uh, with these guys. You know, my expectations is to win every game. Um, and I think the players are, are starting to understand that.
Because your team won the rebounding battle by a significant margin tonight, and that really hasn't been the case all season. What went into that, you know, heading into this game? It's a player's game, and you got individual performances every night. And, um, you know, we had two guys, Moose and Books, have four offensive rebounds apiece. That's elite. You know, in college basketball, when a guy plays uh, rotational minutes, you know, call it 25, 20, 25, 26, 30 minutes, you know, that three offensive rebounds a game is elite. Um, that's what in, ends up leading the SEC and puts you in the top 10 nationally. So, um, you know, our crashers are always chasing that kind of individual goal. You know, can you get three offensive rebounds tonight? And then we also have what we call a pender's tip. From time to time, if you can't get the ball and tip it back, uh, it's not a part of the college stat sheet now, but it's absolutely a part of NBA stats and analytics. So but I thought it starts right there. I mean, how do we out rebound the opponent? We had two guys get eight offensive rebounds between them, so that was good to see. Great questions for Coach. Appreciate you, guys.